try these questions yourself when you have done them then watch the clip here's question A question B and question C so we read out the left hand side 3 cosine theta is equal to expand this is 2 sine theta cosine 60 degrees plus 2 times cosine theta sine 60 degrees Cosine 60 is equal to 1 half. Sine 60 is root 3 divided by 2. Now this 2 and these cancels. And this cancels with this. So we have a 3 cosine theta is equal to sine theta plus root 3 cosine theta. Now we subtract both sides root 3 cosine theta. So we have 3 minus root 3 cosine theta is equal to sine theta. Now we can divide both sides by cosine theta. So the right hand side is sine divided by cosine is 10. And the left hand side just is 3 minus root 3. So the angle alpha is inverse 10. 3 minus root 3. This gives us 51. 0.7 degrees to get the other angles so with plus or minus 180 and so therefore theta is equal to substitute n equal to 0 we get 51.7 then n equal to 1 we get theta is 231.7. Now the question B. We write the left hand side, so cosine theta is equal to, we expand this, cosine theta, cosine 60, minus sine theta, sine 60. So this is half, this is minus root 3 divided by 2 sine theta. Now we multiply everything by 2, so we get 2 cosine theta equal to cosine theta minus root 3 sine theta. We bring this one to the left and take this one to the right and root 3 sine theta is equal to minus cosine theta. Divide both sides by root 3 cosine theta. So we get here, left hand side is just 10, theta and right hand side is minus 1 divided by root 3. So therefore we will have theta is equal to 10 inverse minus 1 divided by root 3. And that is equal to minus 30 plus or minus 188. So we get theta is equal to, n is equal to 1, we get 150, 
put n equal to 2, we get 330 degrees. So you expand the left hand side, so it's 10 theta minus 10 45 divided by 1 minus 10 theta 1045 equal to 6 10 theta. So that's 10 theta. Minus 1, 10, 45 is 1, divided by 1, so that's minus, that should be plus, it's plus 10, 8. Now we're going to multiply both sides by 1 plus 10, 8. So we get 10 theta minus 1 equal to 6 tan theta 1 plus tan theta plus 6 tan theta plus 6 tan squared theta. We take everything to the right hand side, we get 6 tan squared theta. 6 minus 1 is 5, then minus 1 changes to plus 1, it's all equal to 0, now we factorize it, so 3 tan theta, 2 tan theta, so that's plus 1, plus 1, so therefore we have 10 theta, equal to minus one third or ten theta is equal to minus one half. So therefore theta is equal to ten inverse minus one third plus one hundred n or ten inverse minus half plus or minus 180 n. So we get minus 18.4 minus 26.6 plus or minus 180 n. So by substituting n equal to 1, we're going to get 1, 6, 1 n equal to 2, we get 3, 4, 1 point 6. n equal to 1, we get 1, 5, 3 point 4. n equal to 2, 330.4. So we've got four answers, one, five, three, point four, one, six, one, point six, three, 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 point four, or three hundred thirty-one point six.